Imagine that your 8 year old child has slipped during a game. While falling, he flung out his arms to protect himself and made a hard landing. Now his forearm looks bent and he is in pain. As a parent, you are anxious, but you know what to do. You rush him to a hospital where they quickly take an x-ray. This will show the outline of the broken bone and the exact shape of the crack. This information will be used by the doctor to set the bones in place or carry out surgery if needed and your child will be fine in just a few weeks. Things were not always so simple. Before x-rays were discovered, the doctor would have to hold the child's arms and move the broken bones around to guess how they should be put together. Imagine how painful that would be. Sometimes the doctor may make an incorrect guess and the fracture could heal improperly leading to a lifelong deformity. Or imagine you were a soldier in the 19th century and were shot in the leg during a battle. The doctor had to remove the bullet quickly before the wound became septic leading to a terrible death. In this period, there was only one procedure for the doctor to follow. He had to insert a metal forceps into the wound and move it around until it touched the bullet or else it touched your bone. After hours of poking in this way, he would finally locate the bullet and pull it out. Even a hardened soldier must have found it very hard to tolerate this painful procedure. In that era, in fact, there were many wars and medical researchers were frantically seeking better ways to locate bullets inside the bodies of soldiers. They improved the material of the probe so that it would help the doctor distinguish a bullet from a bone. They connected electric wires from the probe to a telephone so the crackling noise of a current would identify the metallic bullet. But all these researchers had one thing in common. They made probes that had to be poked into the body. They had no way to imagine that the solution of the problem involved looking through the body. For this, we must thank a German scientist, Dr. Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, who made the surprising discovery of X-rays in 1895. He was investigating the behavior of newly invented vacuum tubes and the cathode rays that emerge from them. He noticed that these rays could cause a barium platinocyanide screen to show fluorescence, that is, to spontaneously shine, even though it was two meters away from the tube. Röntgen published a research paper on his discovery where he noticed that some agent is capable of penetrating black cardboard which is quite opaque to normal light and he referred to this radiation as X-rays to indicate that it was of a previously unknown type. Continuing his experiments, he generated the very first radiograph, developing an image of the bones of his wife Anna Bertha's hand including also her wedding ring. When she saw her skeleton, she exclaimed, I have seen my death. It is important to note that von Röntgen had no medical qualifications and he did not perform his research with the goal of addressing any medical problem. Rather, he worked on the frontiers of basic science and his purpose was to understand the inner workings of nature. For this, he won the first Nobel Prize in Physics. Research on his discovery continued for a long time. Although X-rays were now known to exist, for the next three decades no one really understood what they were. Eventually, Max von Lauer and other scientists established that X-rays were a form of radiation like visible light but of a shorter wavelength. This allowed them to penetrate solid materials. Despite not being a doctor, Röntgen quickly realized his discovery could have medical applications. He sent a letter to physicians he knew around Europe and news of his discovery spread like wildfire. 
by the beginning of 1896 there were already 46 experimenters using the technique in North America alone. In present time, X-rays as well as all forms of diagnostic imaging are at the core of medicine and surgery. An important technological advance took place in 1971 when Godfrey Hounsfield invented CT or computed tomography. This technique is now used to evaluate trauma patients, assess acute and chronic complaints and monitor cancer during treatment. Hounsfield won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1979. Higher energy X-rays are used to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. In addition, security scanners use X-rays to identify persons carrying weapons or banned objects. Of course, exposure to high levels of X-rays can pose health dangers. However, the technological understanding gained after the discovery has ensured that they are used in a supervised and safe way. The benefits of X-ray technology far outweigh the potential negative consequences. X-rays have applications not just in medicine but also in scientific research. We can infer the atomic structure of a crystal from the pattern produced by diffracting X-rays through it. This is the field of X-ray crystallography. A similar technique was used by Rosalind Franklin to discover the double helix structure of DNA in 1953. X-ray astronomy was born out of Röntgen's discovery and has taught us about the nature of celestial objects. The Chandra X-ray Observatory, launched in 1999, explores violent processes in the universe. Thus, one fundamental discovery changed the lives of billions of people around the globe. It also led to profound new knowledge, which in turn could bring more societal benefits. From understanding DNA to exploring the vast horizons of intergalactic space, from saving the lives of people with broken bones or cancer to keeping a nation secure, the X-ray has become an irreplaceable part of our lives. The University of Würzburg, one of the largest public universities in Germany, supported Röntgen's research. Enlightened nations support basic science because it brings about two things, new knowledge and long-term benefits to society. In fact, one can never predict exactly what benefits will come about by studying the inner workings of nature. But this story gives us confidence that understanding nature is the key to making our lives better in the long run.